For 13 seasons, NBA guard Derek Fisher has been a fierce competitor on the basketball court. As a member of the Los Angeles Lakers, he's a four-time NBA champion. You have to work hard at things. You have to be disciplined at things in order to be good at them, to be great at them. And so that goes for your professional career, your personal life, and your relationships with people, and, and as well as your relationship with, with God. While attending the University of Arkansas Little Rock, Derek played basketball and centered his life on God. I made a contact with our strength and conditioning coach at the time. His name was Ken Coggins. And he introduced me to FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes. And that's where my, my individual relationship with God really, really took off. When his collegiate career ended, Derek continued to work hard, knowing the challenge of making an NBA roster would be great. I just totally put everything on my faith, you know, in God that if I concentrate on something, you know, and I'm disciplined at it and I work hard at it, that something good will come out of it. In the summer of 96, future NBA greats Kobe Bryant, Steve Nash, and Allen Iverson headlined one of the strongest drafts in the history of the NBA. And in the second round of that draft, Derek Fisher's prayers were answered. He was drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers. He celebrated and then prayed with his parents, pastors, and members of their congregation. We took that moment to just say thank you because we, you know, we all know that none of it really would have happened, none of it, you know, without God's blessings. Derek knew all about the temptations that face suddenly rich young NBA players. I didn't want to be a follower. I wasn't going to do what other people were doing just because they were doing it. If it really wasn't the right thing to do. So before making the cross country move to LA, he went to church. After hearing the sermon, you know, just walked up in front of the church, in front of everybody and rededicated my life uh, to the Lord. Derek quickly established himself as one of the premier guards in the league. He married and started a family with his new wife, Candace. And before their daughter Tatum was one year old, they got shocking news from the doctor. Tatum was diagnosed with retinoblastoma, which is a, a, a cancer of the eye at 10 months. You know, when you talk about pain or hurt or, I mean, it was just one of the hardest punches in the gut that I've ever received. I had no idea, you know, whether or not she would be okay, whether or not, you know, we could find a cure for the cancer, whether or not she would have to have her eye removed. But through prayer and proper treatment, Tatum was cured and is totally cancer free. At this point, there are no signs of the cancer returning or, you know, of us having to be fearful that, uh, you know, something catastrophic could happen. Today, even with a rigorous NBA schedule, he makes time to be there for his family. My parents didn't have the opportunities that my wife and I have now, uh, you know, from a, a quality of life standpoint. Um, but one thing that did not ever lack was their presence. They were there helping us with homework and making sure that we were doing the things that we needed to do and giving us curfews and a time when you better be home by the time no street lights come on. Like that, I mean, that kind of love and discipline and structure uh, that I try to bring in, into my home now, you know, as a husband and as a father. Derek discusses his faith and family in his new book, Character Driven. My character has always been important to me. That was the one thing that uh, I knew no matter what, I had to hold that strong. As a husband, father, and athlete, Derek Fisher gives God the credit for his success. God blessed me with an ability to play this game very well. So then, in response to that, to show him that I appreciate that blessing, I'm supposed to try to be the best at playing the game of basketball. The source of my power and strength is, is God, and, and I know it without a shadow of a doubt.